CataractCoach.com, three very tough monocular cataract cases. These are incredibly difficult and super stressful. Here's our first case. Deep set monocular eye with overhanging brow and a small pupil. Wow, look at just the axis is going to be so difficult. I hope you can sit temporarily here. Now, here comes some Irish hooks being placed. We have Professor Ramesh Ayala from University of South Florida in Tampa as our guest surgeon here. A true master surgeon who's going to teach us the way. Let me also tell you about RetRounds.com, our new sister channel. Check it out on YouTube. Also sign up at RetRounds.com. I promise you're going to love it. You'll learn so much. It's free. Now, back to our case here. Getting a Rex is done. This is not easy. The AC is so shallow that sometimes it's really hard to get enough room to work in there. And so now going in with some gentle hydrodissection. You've got to be very careful here. Yes, all the videos are sped up today so it can be very efficient. And now let's see the technique here. Look at the very limited view and access. So the nucleus looks like it's semi-tilted up here. Ooh, it's going to be very difficult. Here comes the phaco probe again. And now let's see the chop technique, perhaps. There's the chopper, yup. And I like this idea of chopping off little pieces at a time here. And again, this is so stressful. The view is so challenging. The working space is so minimal. These are the most stressful eyes. Myopic guys I love. It's these tiny hyperopic nanophthalmic eyes that are so stressful here. So nucleus is finding out. There's a little subincisional iris uh, damage there, which is okay. We're going to live with that. Now taking out the cortex here, doing coaxial cortex removal. There is that rexus. Again, clean out the bag as much as we can here. Let's get that lens in. Here comes the lens, single piece acrylic lens. Going to go in the capsule bag here. Looks like a non-toric monofocal lens, which is great. And here at the end, all done. Okay, let's go to the next slide. 14 and a half millimeter nanophthalmic. Oh my goodness. Monocular patient, look at that deep set eye, 14 and a half millimeters. Look at the irregular looking iris. Look at the tiny pupil. Oh, this is just stressful looking at it. So there's the paracentesis He's trying to break some synechia that are there. Maybe inject a little viscoelastic. There's the iris hooks already in. Okay, Rexus is going to be completed soon. A little bit of tripan blue dye. I like the idea of just painting on the tripan blue dye. You don't want to squirt it everywhere because what if the zonulopathy and it goes into the victor's cavity, you'll lose your red reflex. Now starting off with this rexus, look how the left hand is injecting viscoelastic too. Left hand injecting viscoelastic while the right hand uses a cystotome to get a rexus done. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. And that is not a soft lens. That's a pretty dense lens. Again, there's a little bit of a baby rexus, so it's going to be a little bit challenging to get this out. Let's see the technique here. So it's probably going to be a chop, chop, and a lot of chop. And then taking the time here, there we go. Nucleus is out. Here comes the cortex removal. Now, these videos were pre-edited ahead of time for me. So we've cut through it pretty quickly here. Now at the end, let's fill up the bag, put the lens in. Here comes the eye well. In case you're wondering, the highest power lens you can get in the U.S. is 40 diopters. This is a 33 diopter lens. Getting that in the capsular bag, nice and easy. And just look how massive... That lens looks, that's a six millimeter optic, but look how big it looks inside that eye. Wow, just super stressful case. At the end here, remove the viscoelastic. Be careful of zonulopathy. Oh, look, there is zonulopathy. Be very careful in this case here. Mm, maybe you want to put a CTR. Look how loosey-goosey that is. The end of the case, multiple sutures here to close it. Again, super stressful. Here's another one. A plus eight patient with myotonic dystrophy. Like another small, tiny eye. Look at that deep set eye there. Enophthalmic eye, the ptosis. The eye is hypotropic also. Look at this. Look at that corneal scleral junction. It's just very little clear cornea is left. There's also an inferior corneal scar. Yes, the camera's actually in focus. It's just that corneal scar is impeding our view here. Wow, this is just so stressful. Going to put a little bit of tripan blue dye, get a little bit of a stain here. And again, the stress is on when this is the patient's only eye. Here comes the incision. There it is made temporarily, kind of the only part of the, the cornea that looks reasonably normal. And now trying to get a rex done. Be careful as zonulopathy. Remember, these tiny eyes, nanophthalmic eyes, small eyes, have a much higher rate of zonulopathy. So now, again, the view looks terrible because there's corneal haze. You're operating through a very small window here. Maybe here's where an endo illuminator may be helpful as well. Again, let's see. Using the phaco probe, hopefully just kind of debulking the nucleus there a bit. And now let's see. Maybe a groove down the middle to debulk it more. Let's find out. Again, the window of view for you as a surgeon is just so limited. There's so little corneal to look through. And then there's also the corneal haze and the pre-existing corneal scar. There's finally a red reflex. 
Now let's figure out, is there a lens cortex available to be aspirated? Are we going to do some visco dissection here? Yup, looking like we're going to remove the rest of that epinuclear shell here nice and easy. I like the use of a lot of viscoelastic here. It's definitely a friend. Here comes the lens going in the capsular bag. Here comes a single piece of acrylic lens. And look how mega sized that IOL looks inside the eye. Removing viscoelastic. Wow, finally finishing up the case here. Again, what a tremendous amount of stress. Beautifully cases. Post up 20 out of 100 vision. I'll call that a win. Remember, check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website, plus retinarounds.com, our sister channel. You're going to love it.